Heading for Hawaii, crossroads of the Pacific, the United States fleet on one of its frequent visits presents an imposing pageant of sea power. Mighty men of war, but at the same time happy homes for the thousands of men aboard as they sail the seven seas. Hey, what's the idea? No, that's not a flood. It's just the Pacific coming aboard. As guardians of our country, our Navy must be prepared for any emergency. And while en route, war games at sea test officers and men, keeping them fit to fight. No man's blood fails to tingle as he hears, coming on the rain. And finally, commence firing. Planes act as the eyes of a modern fleet. With the signal cease firing, maneuvers end and the squadrons reform for their cruise to Honolulu, where shore leave awaits. For the Navy knows that all work and no play make Jack a dull boy. But first, captain's inspection is held. Spotless uniforms and a spick and span appearance are the order of the day in the service. off to see who needs a haircut. And then the fleet is anchored off Honolulu, the promised land of Liberty Party. Soon the glad cry of all ashore that's going ashore echoes throughout the ship. Eager sailors embark in ship's boats. Ashore, the traditional welcome, the Hawaiian lays that greet every visitor. And here's the lad who receives the most flowery welcome of all. Oh, for the life of a sailor. And then it's ho for Waikiki Beach aboard a rolling trolley. Jackets just can't wait to enjoy the world famous beach. A sailor's holiday going to sea with surfboards and native outriggers. It's quite a trick to manage an outrigger, and returning is the thrill of a lifetime.
some are experts. But as a rule, it's man overboard on the shoreward trip. Rugged individualists prefer surfboards. You're on your own as you race on the crest of the roaring surf. But whether you're good or not, you're bound to be head over heels for the sport any time. Next, we visit New Wanipali, where the breezes blow so hard and so steadily that even the sea legs of a sailor can't make headway against the island's strongest trade winds. Air currents roaring through Pali Gap. It's a historic spot, too, because here Kamehameha I, Napoleon of the Pacific, united the islands under his rule. When his forces drove Oahu's army over the cliff to destruction, to the rocks 400 feet below. While Liberty parties are ashore, officers and men on duty keep an eye on things, such as this air patrol. But duty is a pleasure when it gives you these fine bird's eye views of lovely Honolulu, capital city of the Hawaiian Islands. This city, where East meets West and modern business mingles with the memories of the past, has a population of more than 106,000, representing all the races of the globe. The up-to-date metropolis we see from the air grew from the settlement which John Young, an Englishman, urged Kamehameha to fortify in 1816. And now, 120 years later, it has become the chief city of the crossroads of the Pacific. Nearby is world-famous Waikiki Beach, Hawaii's greatest resort, where magnificent hotels are headquarters for the social life of the city. Right at their doors rolls the eternal surf of the Pacific. Due to the contour of Waikiki's ocean floor, the waves surge for great distances without losing their shape, making them ideal for the sport of surf riding. As the islands are of volcanic origin and coral formation, it is but natural that the natives created legends both around the power to destroy, the volcanoes, and the power to build, the coral, many specimens of which are on display. They tell their own story of age-old creation. And if you want coconuts, all you have to do is climb a tree. Or if you're too lazy, get somebody else to go along. No shore leave in Hawaii is complete without the hula hula by the native Polly's girl. So it's on with the dance. Great shakes for many a young sailor. Hey, you need blinders. Thanks, buddy. What he can't see won't hurt us. And that's the end of a perfect visit in the paradise of the Pacific. It's time to return to the ship saying aloha for a little while. Then it's homeward bound with lifelong memories of a cruise to Hawaii and patriotic pride in the imposing gray line of Uncle Sam's great fleet, America's first line of defense.